So, no, originally it wasn't really hard for me to get a job. The company that I worked for prior to working with NAMU, we uh, had an office that we created here about 10 years ago. Um, I was uh, part of the startup of the office, putting the office together and hiring people here. Uh, worked about three years trying to manage the office remotely and that wasn't working out as well as we had expected. So I was brought down here to manage the office locally rather than remotely. Well, it was very hard. Actually, I worked for five years in call center industry. So my first day here, I was so happy <laughs> to finally be out of the call centers. Uh, so it was hard. I started here as a receptionist and then I started doing interviews and I'm actually now the HR uh, recruiter for the company. When I lived in the UK, uh, I worked for DHL and I worked for DHL for almost uh, 15 years. And then when I moved to Costa Rica, um, I didn't really have a massive plan, but I had met up with the people from DHL Latin America and uh, they offered me a job once I had my residence. And so in the meantime, I came across an ad for Costa Rica Vacations and I came down to meet the team here for an interview and they offered me a job and I started here and I never went back to DHL. Uh, getting a job with NAMU, uh, was not super difficult because I knew I wanted to work in tourism and I wanted to travel the country and I responded to um, their LinkedIn for the travel consult uh, consultant position and within two weeks had the job after a couple rounds of interviews. So for me it wasn't that hard to get a job here um, when I began working as a travel consultant for Costa Rican Vacations at the time it was an up-and-coming business so the business was growing and I was growing with it. Actually, no. I, I started to look for a job and one week later, uh, going through internet, I saw an ad, applied, and two weeks later I was working. There are a lot of opportunities here in the travel industry, so maybe that was why it was easy. To legally work in Costa Rica, I know one of the first things you need to do is get your residency. And I believe there's about five ways to get a Costa Rica residency. One of the most common ways is to marry your spouse here in Costa Rica through a marriage visa. Um, and that will give you your residency. You can have children and request your residency after they've been born. Um, you can own land uh, here as a, as a foreign expat and that can get you residency. You'll have to check on the exact amount or cost of the land. Um, I believe you can start your own business and request, request residency through that. Or one of the more common ones is getting sponsored by your employer. And then you'll get your residency card, which you have to renew for the, every year for the first two or three years. And after five years of residency, you can apply for citizenship if you wish. So you get access to the CAHA, which is the social medicine system. Uh, that can be a benefit for some people. Uh, frankly, I, I have not used it, oh, I've used it once, I guess, and it wasn't the greatest of experiences for me. That doesn't mean it's not going to be. Uh, really what it does give though is peace of mind that if you are gonna have an issue that you're going to be covered by, uh, by the social medicine. Well, it allows you to, to, to become a, a CAHA employee uh, where you pay your taxes and you'll pay your national insurance, which means should you, um, ever need to use the, the national insurance system then you're covered and you can use medical care and stuff like that. Uh, it depends on what you're looking for. For, for the call centers, like if, you, if you're going to get dialed in with that, definitely San Jose, but if you're going to work in the service industry or try and work at a hotel or something like that or for a tour company, then definitely the touristy areas is where you want to be. Um, I know a lot of people that do work as bartenders and, and servers in those areas, uh, strictly speaking English. I think that kind of really depends on what your job is going to be uh, and to some extent where you want to live. Uh, if you're working remotely and you've got a company that is willing to allow you to work remotely, then you could live really anywhere you would want to. Uh, some people thoroughly enjoy living at the beach in the heat of the beach, but other people really don't like the beach, so they come into San Jose. I would say if you're coming down to look for somebody to work for, the majority of the jobs, unless they're specifically related to the tourism industry, are going to be within the greater metropolitan area. I think in, inside San Jose is easier. They are constantly looking for customer service representatives, 
uh, receptionists. But yeah, the tendency that I'm always looking is receptionists and customer service representatives. So I know that a lot of jobs right now are more towards um, development, innovation, and IT. Um, but I think that would be the most uh, demand a job that's that people are looking for right now. Um, I know that there's always jobs at call centers, uh, people that can speak English and Spanish or, or just English. A lot of the like Amazon is a big one. Um, there's like there, there's just a whole bunch of call centers. That's why I saw there's a big demand for or would be the easiest thing. Um, aside from that, I don't really I don't really know what else. I mean, I'm sure tourism is, is huge out here. Costa Rica has, in the last 10 years, grown to be a very large service industry, uh, service and tech. Uh, really, those are kind of the two largest industries that, that Costa Rica has that has exportable uh, goods, if you will. Uh, the other, obviously, is tourism as well. Uh, working in tourism is a big part of Costa Rica. It's a big part of the GDP, and so there are a lot of jobs in tourism as well. I went to university and, and it never done me any harm. In fact, I wouldn't have got my job with DHL without it. So, um, but settling in Costa Rica, I think most of my colleagues probably are university educated, but whether it's a necessity, I, I don't think so. Um, yes, definitely. In, in these days, Costa Ricans are very well prepared. So yes, it is important that you come and bring all your papers, all your university and college papers to have to show them here if you're applying for a job. That's really going to depend to some extent on your experience. Uh, I've always been one who hires more on the level of experience than on education. Education doesn't hurt, uh, but experience is far more important. But what I can tell you is that depending on the methodology that you're going to come to work in Costa Rica, uh, certain professions require you to have uh, university degrees in order to come down, which would uh, allow you to more easily gain uh, residency within the country. For me, it was never the case that I needed my degree. I think perhaps if you're more local, it's important to employers that you have a degree. But if you're coming from a first world country that's more developed, let's say, and you do speak English fluently, that might be less of an issue for you. Well, yes, it helps if you have a technical degree, it will also help because, well, right now there are a lot of uh, actually no opportunities if you don't have a, any degree or if you don't have, for example, any, any language, uh, it is very hard to find a job. It really depends. If you start at the basic level, you're going to look at about $1,000 to $1,500 a month. Uh, it can go up from there depending on what kind of job you've got and what the company that you're getting hired to work for is willing to pay you. I, I think the average salary is maybe around a thousand dollars. I think that's about an average. Um, I think in call centers and stuff like that, um, that's kind of the going rate in Costa Rica. Um, tourism wise, yeah, it could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more. Depends on the role, depends on your experience and your expertise. But around about the $1,000 mark, I, I think, is maybe an average.